In today's video, you're gonna learn how to make this Imangadze edit on CapCut PC. Let's get started! Let's start by drag and dropping our raw clip on a timeline. And I will be providing you guys with the whole asset pack that I used in this tutorial, so you can practice yourself. One of the essential things we need to do is to right click on the clip, and hit extract audio. Then go to the right side of the software, click adjustments and hit auto adjust. And then just drag the slider to somewhere around 50%. Go to the tab called video, under scale, put 320%. And under position, put minus 200. Then just copy and paste this clip one time. Go on the right side of the software, click remove background, scroll down where you see auto removal and check the box. Once the processing is done, we have successfully removed the background. Go to the media panel and drag and drop the black gradient on the timeline. Go on the right side of the software under the tab called mask and we are gonna use horizontal mask. Click on that, use the on-screen control to rotate it and use this on-screen control and just drag it as far as you can. Click on this line that's visible on the screen, which allows you to move the mask up and down and just drag it down to somewhere like this. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop our person on the timeline, just above the gradient. Position it somewhere like this, go to the basic tab, scroll down and put it on the first layer. Click on tab mask, we are gonna use horizontal mask drag it down, put the feathering to 25% and just drag it to somewhere like this. Go under the effects tab and look for the effect called play pendulum and drag and drop it on our person. Slide twist to 0, strength to 5, sharpen leave it at 50 and speed put in 75. Go back to the media panel, click on text tab and drag and drop the default text on the timeline. Delete the default text and type in everyone should make. Pick a font, drag it down, use the sunscreen control to make it a little smaller, scroll down where you see tab called glow. Check the box, pick the first one, drag intensity to somewhere around 15 and range 200. And drag and drop another default text, delete this, and type in 15,000. Pick a font, use the on-screen controls to make it bigger, and position it somewhere like this. For the color, pick this blue one, select both texts and just extend them. Click on the first text, go under the tab animations, scroll down where you see the effect called Typewriter. Extend the duration to 1.5 seconds. Everyone should rush to me. Select the second text, go on the right side of the software, click animation, scroll down and look for the effect called Shining Into. I think click on that and change the duration to 1 second. Now position your playhead where the first text animation ends and just drag the second text so they both finish at the same time. Go under the tap effects and drag and drop the effect called side blur. Drag and drop it on the timeline, leave the blur at 30, filters at 0, glow at 0 and you can put the speed to 75. Go back to the media panel, position your playhead right at the start when he starts talking again, right click on the text and hit create compound clip and do the same for the other text. Click on the first compound clip Go under the basic tab and hit this keyframe and this keyframe. Move 10 frames forward, you can just count it up and do the same. Now replicate this for all the other clips. First we're gonna start working on our text. Click on the second keyframe and just drag it to somewhere like this. Scroll down and change the opacity to 0%. Click on the other text, click on the second keyframe 
and drag it to somewhere like this. And once again change the opacity to 0%. Click on the clip with the removed background, click the second keyframe and drag it down. Make sure that positioning stays the same, so put it back to 200 and here put 1600. And now just do the same for the other clip. Go to the media panel and drag and drop our background on the timeline. Add a keyframe on blend, go 10 frames forward and add, and add another keyframe on blend. You can use this little arrow to quickly jump between keyframes, so click on that and drag the opacity to 0%. Now click on this second keyframe and just drag the background to somewhere like this and put it on the first layer. Now click on our person, go to the second keyframe and just scale it up and position it somewhere like this. Click on the first keyframe, go to the media panel and drag and drop cache explosion on the timeline. Scale it up using on-screen controls, adjust the positioning, scroll down and put it on the second layer. Go under the tab called adjustments, curves, scroll down to the green curve and drag this point to somewhere like this. Go under the tab video, mask, once again we are going to use horizontal mask, drag the feathering to 25% and put it somewhere like this. Go under the text tab and drag and drop the default text on the timeline. Delete the default text and type in at only. It's perfect, change the font, move the playhead forward and position this right here. Scroll down, check the glow box, click on the second one, drag it intensity to 15 and range to 75. Drag and drop another text on the timeline and type in 18. Change the font and scale it up using the on-screen controls. Change the color to this light blue one, position the playhead where he starts talking again and then, then just pick the middle somewhere like this, hit command or control B to split it and type in 19. Select both texts, right click and hit create compound clip. And do the same for the other text. Now go under the tab called animations, scroll down where you see animation called slide left and leave the duration at 0.5 seconds. And now do the same for the bottom compound clip. Go under the effects step and drag and drop this edge glow on the second compound clip and leave the glow at 25. And do the same for this other text. Go back to media panel and drag and drop this purple gradient on the timeline. Scale it up, put it on the second layer, scroll up and increase the scale to somewhere like this and then just adjust the positioning. Go on the tab called animations and put in the animation called fade in. Fivered. Leave the duration at 0.5 seconds. Position your playhead right here, then count 10 frames forward, and then hit Command B and delete all of the leftover parts. Click on our person, go on the right side of the software, click animation, out, scroll down, and choose slide left. I mean this and put the duration to 0 0.3 I mean seconds. Click on the compound clip where we have our text and pick the animation called slide right. I mean this and put the duration to 0 I mean 0.3 seconds and do the same for the other text. Click on our cache explosion and choose fade out, I mean this put it at 0 I mean this 0.3 seconds and do the same for our background. Click on purple gradient, scroll down, click slide left, I mean this change the duration to I mean 0.3 seconds. Now just copy and paste this black gradient, position your playhead where the animation starts, select both clips and hit command B. Delete this and do the same for the other clip. 
add the keyframe on transform and add the keyframe on blend and do the same for the upper clip count 15 frames forward and do the same use this little arrow to jump on the first frame and put scale to 400 percent do the same for the bottom clip quickly jump to the second keyframe scroll down to opacity and drag it to 100 percent and do the same for the bottom clip position your playhead right here click on the this clip and add the keyframe on transform then count 15 frames forward and add another keyframe and do the same for the bottom clip. Click on the second keyframe, change the positioning to 400 and do the same for the bottom clip. Position your playhead on the first keyframe, go back to media panel and drag and drop our photo on the timeline. Go on the tab called mask and we are gonna use rectangle mask. Use the on-screen controls to scale it up and just drag this little tool that allows us to curve the corners. Use the on-screen controls to scale it down just a little, scroll down and put it on the first layer. Add another keyframe on transform, go back, hit this keyframe and click this clip and add another keyframe. And do the same for the blend. Use this little arrow to quickly jump on the first frame, drag the photo out of the frame and change the opacity to 0%. Go under the text tab, drag and drop the default text on the timeline, delete the default text and type in fastest way to make a million dollars. Change the font, scroll down and put the alignment to this first box, position it somewhere like this, scroll down, check the glow box, select the second box, drag intensity to 15% and range to 75. Now just copy and paste this text, drag it down, delete this text and type in 1.3 million. Scroll down and change the opacity to 75%. Select both text, right click on them and create compound clip. Put the position to minus 50 Add a keyframe on transform and keyframe on blend. Click on the, this second keyframe, scroll up and do the same. Now use this little arrow to quickly jump on the first frame. Position it somewhere like this and change the opacity to 0%. Rushing. The only thing left to do is to put it on the right layer. So put it on the second layer. Position your playhead right here. Go back to the media panel, drag and drop this money falling video. Use this on screen controls to turn it 180 degrees. Scale it up to somewhere like this. This should be perfect. Go on the tab called mask. We are gonna use horizontal mask. Once again, turn it 180 degrees. Scroll down and put in the feathering to 25. Put the keyframe on position and count 15 frames forward. Now quickly jump on the first keyframe and drag this up. Click on this second keyframe, select both clips and hit command or control B to split it and delete the leftover parts. Now we need to adjust the layers. So scroll down and put it on the third layer. Click on this first compound clip Go under the tab animations and click slide down a million. and put it to 0 0.3 million. seconds and do the same for the other compound clip. Now we can just delete these leftover parts. The only thing left to do is to add some music and sound effects. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop this song on the timeline. Use the on screen controls to crop it a little and position it somewhere like this. It's really important to align the beat drops of the songs to really important parts of the video. In our case, beat drop is right here and the really important part is right here. So just scrub this first part and drag the song so it will fit our criteria right here and just extend it to somewhere like this and split this part because we don't need it. Now, 
go back to the audio tab under sound effects and look for the effect called deep whoosh. Drag and drop it on the timeline, crop it out to somewhere like this. If you listen to the song is little loud, so we need to adjust the decibels to somewhere around minus 10. Click on this deep whoosh and change the volume to minus 5 decibels. Go back to the import tab, look for the sound effect called keyboard typing, drag and drop it on the timeline, and look in the video where our typing animation stops, somewhere like this. Now just hit command or control B to split it and delete this part. Increase the volume to 5 decibels. Now let's look where the money animation starts. So it's right here. Drag and drop this money sound effect on the timeline and lower the volume to minus 10 decibels. Position your playhead at the beginning of our big transition and just copy and paste our deep push effect. Drag and drop this gears sound effect on the timeline. Lower the volume for to minus 5 decibels and just crop it to somewhere like this. Look where the money animation starts and drop, drag and drop this fill and burn sound effect on the timeline and lower the volume to negative 10 decibels. Now look closely where these two numbers switch between 18 and 19. So right here, scroll down and drag and drop this mouse clicking effect on the timeline. Now we have something like this. I think everyone should rush to make five or ten thousand or fifteen thousand a month. I mean there's like 19 years are rushing to make a million dollars a year. That's all for today. I will catch you guys in the next one.